Well, meanwhile, the CEO of General Motors, Rick Wagner, told the House Financial Services Committee in Washington that the collapse of the U.S. auto industry could lead to a loss of three million jobs within the first year and ripple out throughout the communities around the nation. Chrysler CEO Bob Nardelli rejected suggestions that the automakers should the seek Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, similar to airlines that uh, emerged restructured and leaner after they declared bankruptcy. And Ford Motor Company CEO Alan Mulally said the three automakers are highly interdependent and that their collapse would have a devastating ripple effect across the entire U.S. economy. The chairman of the House Financial Services Committee, Barney Frank, suggested that a congressional bias exists to the extent that lawmakers seem more inclined to intervene to help white-collar bankers than blue-collar auto workers. As U.S. auto workers face uncertain futures, many are starting to wonder how the collapse of the industry could set off a catastrophic chain reaction in the U.S. economy. Zhang Yajing with more. Residents in Lowestown, Ohio, are preparing for the worst after talks to help the industry stalled. General Motors plans to cut 850 jobs at its Lowestown assembly plant, roughly a fourth of the workforce. Another 160 jobs will come from the GM fabricating plant. Residents used to hold high hopes for a congressional bailout of the auto industry, but optimism is fading. Well, a lot of people are kind of nervous. They don't know what's going on. I, uh, I believe it would really hurt. It would be uh, devastating to our, this whole area. This plant would have to close. It's going to devastate this area. It's going to devastate all the businesses, the school systems, um, everything. Optimism is a little higher in Georgetown, Kentucky, where the foreign-owned Toyota plant is based. Residents say with the success of Toyota's Prius, they believe the company is not in the same dire situation as its competitors. But on Wednesday, Toyota said it would be forced to reduce production in the U.S. to cope with slowing sales. And there are worries a failure of the auto industry would be a catastrophe for the entire nation. Nationally, shutting down General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler are going to affect about 3 million people directly, indirectly. The ripple effect is going to be astronomical. It's going to literally drive us deeper into this depression that we're already in. Democrats had planned to dip into the 700 billion U.S. dollar rescue fund to finance U.S. automakers. But the White House and congressional Republicans rejected the plan. A bipartisan group from auto industry states is working to cut a deal on a scale-down aid package. Zhang Yajing, CCTV, 